，来，来，张嘴。Here you go. You gotta eat that first and then drink that. Sixty dollars. Now how in the fuck I'm eat a banana and then drink a fucking Sprite soda? You gotta do do the challenge, dude. Man, shit. Fuck. This motherfucker rotten. You ain't gotta throw. Just leave the peel on the table and just go ahead with the soda. No, you gotta finish the banana. Finish the foot long. <laughs> Man, fuck this shit. <laughs> Damn. All right, you got one shot, you can't stop. Why you didn't do that damn Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola. The Sprite is better. Nah, that Coca-Cola is better. That little one. There you go. Man, fuck this shit. I'm going to drink this bitch this time. <clears throat> <laughs> Are you, are you stopping? Okay. <laughs> are you crying?
Oh, that worked. Loading it up. How many grains is that? A lot. <laughs> Add just a touch of lemon in there too. Like a little bowling ball. It doesn't quite fit, buddy. So you gotta how much you gotta you, size how much? it down about three thousandths. Three thousandths. Yeah. Shovel that fucker in there. Yeah, hit it with Hold the shovel. Up. Hold this. Oh, that's a little bit tight. Oh. Yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this only landed 30 feet back. My God. <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> Then we slide the body into the machine here, and then as you can see here, there's a spray bar that's right here that actually places water into the machine, and this is all done automatically. So what we're doing is we're actually taking the natural process of decomposition and we're speeding that up and what happens is that it dissolves the body over the course of about a three to four hour time frame and then the fluid goes over to the accumulation tank and then the bone and any of the prosthetics that are left over are on the tray when we open up the unit and if you look here you can see we have a drawer that's absolutely full of prosthetics over the course of time you can see pa everything from pacemakers to little tiny stents that, are, that you can see during this process. The other thing that makes us unique from flame cremation is all of the different polys that are here. These would all be burned up and this would create more CO2 gas. This is actually methyl methacrylate known as bone cement. And this also would never be seen in a crematory because it would be gone. You see hernia mesh here. And then you can also see all of the different teeth that we can take out afterwards. We allow our bone to dry just at room temperature so we don't create any of a bigger carbon footprint. It takes about four to five days for the bones to dry here. And then they're processed in a standard cremulator that, that every crematory has in the world. But we just place the bone into the bottom of here. You can see the larger femurs. Here I actually found a little suture in this person yet. So this allows us to make sure that all of the suture and all of the mercury and everything has been removed out of the person. Just place the cover on here like so. Ground up ash actually looks just like this when it's all done. So it's it's fine white, pure white calcium phosphate is what we're looking at. This by far is the most uh, environmentally friendly choice out of all the choices that are out there. And someday I just want everybody to know I'm going to donate my body to science so that... Yo, babe! What? Hurry up, quick! What? Quick, quick! What? I see your little contraption. The girl's slick. so <laughs> I'm sorry guys, yes. Sorry? Oh, all good, all good guys. Because I'm professional cleaner, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry.
sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> got this, buddy. No, he's going to make it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Here, bear. You okay? Where are you? He's mad. Drowning? No. Come on, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here and let me drive. Wind.